Hi, you guys. This is Sandy with uh, my channel, Goofy Mama Stitches, a channel about cross stitch. Sometimes some finishing, but no tutorials because <laughs> I don't have the equipment like for looking down and stuff. And um, anyway, so welcome to my channel anybody returning welcome back anybody new thank you so much for pressing play um i really appreciate it it's not quite been a week since i did my first uh floss tube not my first but coming back my first i kind of wanted to do like a whip parade just kind of getting back into floss tube and stuff just to kind of see where i am that makes sense so today is Thursday October 5th um, 2023 <laughs> I like to if if you haven't noticed I like to laugh and joke of course there's just me and then the cats behind me so there might be another cat fight you never know <laughs> but I like to joke and laugh and stuff and so I probably look like a dork doing it but that's just me. This is just me. It's who I am. <laughs> I did want to say um, thank you very much to Michelle and Cheryl from the Bay Stitchers, I think, or the Two Bay Stitchers. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I <clears throat> like I have it in my mind, and then when I press play, I swear everything goes out into the universe that I'm like sitting here like <laughs> I'm a space so I'm so sorry um, they shouted me out on their channel and so I went and took a look at them and oh my heck I just love them so I had to like they have I think four videos out I believe but I just binge watched all of them <laughs> I was like, oh, that is cute. Oh, I have that one. Yes, that, oh, that's cute. So we all enable each other, I swear, because I'm like, every time I'm like, I got to go get that. I got to go get that. <laughs> but they're the sweetest. And, <coughs> excuse me. So, um, and if, if you haven't by chance watched them, go give them a watch because they are, they're awesome and um, such beautiful stitching and just two fun girls. They're just, they're fun to watch and um, I just, I really enjoyed them. So I'm like, mm, subscribe, hit the bell so I know when their videos are coming. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for the shout out. That, that was really nice. Um, Today is, um, like I said, it's not been quite a week since I did my first whip, um, my part one. So I'm just going to jump on here and just do part two so I can um, get this stuff out of here. <laughs> I have like in my bedroom, I ironed them all. I put them in piles. So I'm all prepared and ready. And then um, I'm like starting to twitch now because it's like driving me crazy uh, I don't know if that's how you guys are like I can I can stand something for a little bit and then I'm like <laughs> start to twitch because it's driving me crazy but they're all stacked nice not like I have hundreds I don't but um they're all stacked nice and they're all ironed and I'm like what if my cats start doing something to them what if they you know, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta get that video filmed so I can put those away. Plus, you know, you're stitching, you spend hours on it. So it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Look at my cute mug. I just have to show it off because I love cats. And this is by, um, Swig. I don't know if you've ever tried any of their mugs. This is the 40 ounce. Um, 
and no, I'm, they don't, they're not sponsoring me. I just love their mugs. And it glows in the dark, all the little fish and the stars and the, all the little white stuff. Like, so I have it by my bed at night because I always have to have water. And so it'll be all dark and everything and I can see it glowing. It's so cute. But I'm drinking a lot more water and I'm always thirsty. So I'm like, ah. <sighs> Anyway, cute mug. I have to show it off. So let's begin. Um, I hope everybody's been doing good. Everything's good. Um, I talked to my sister yesterday and come to find out my um, brother-in-law had a heart attack yesterday. So he's in surgery as we speak having um, open heart surgery and he has to have five, I guess you call them bypasses. So they're taking some veins from his um, leg. So <coughs> I'm gonna have to, my, I told my sister, you better check in with us. I have um, three older sisters. I'm the youngest. So there's four of us girls, no brothers. And we have a group chat that we text and so I'm like you better let us know keep us informed what's going on so if I have to stop it all of a sudden you know but I should get updates like sometimes it comes across my phone and I'll be like okay try and hurry and read it <laughs> so you won't think I'm going crazy but other than that I've just been stitching and my son passed his um the written test for his driver's ed part, um, the written part and the range. Um, so now he gets to go out driving with the teacher and probably one or two other kids. I'm not sure how they do that. Oh, they're grooming each other. They're so cute. Um, and then he gets to take like the final road test or whatever. So he's pretty pumped. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> just, I'm just one of those worried mother bears, you know, but that's okay. It's how life goes sometimes. Um, but let me get into this. This is a whip that I've had for probably quite a few years. And it's one of my older whips and it's funny because when I when I think about my whips and my um, stuff like that like when I because I used to be monogamous and I would only do one and so that's all I ever worked on was one and then I would and then this is way before floss tube <laughs> floss tube ruined you um, not ruined you but you know what I mean so um, so before I used to only stitch one and then I would go looking for my next project. Floss tube happens and now I've got tons. So it's like, oh yeah, I got them planned out the rest of my life. I'm good. <laughs> I don't ever have to wonder. Oh, but then I squirrel because I see somebody's floss tube and I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before. I'm going to have to get it. And off I go. So anyway, this is an older, well, does it say when it was? Oh, 2020. I'm acting like it's like 400 years old. What are you doing? My cat's trying to, nah, don't you go up there. Nah, okay, good boy. I thought he was going to climb all over my cross stitches. <laughs> I, I put him, I, this is who it is. Let me just, oh, here. Well, that. Um, I'll do this. This is, was made in, published, whatever, in 2020. So I hope you guys can see it good. 
It is All Hallows Eve by Little Dove Designs, and they're in the UK, um, designed and made in um, England. And so I just think it's so cute. But I didn't really care for their colors. So Tina at, uh, or Terry, sorry, Terry at Shepherd's Bush helped me. Um, she always helps me change colors because I don't do very good at it. But um, she helped me change colors. Hope you can see it really well. Um, so it's kind of like a long, a long piece. And it is, if it says really quick, 53 by 253. So it's, it's long, but it kind of, I put it away for a while. And I think it's because I like the color of the fabric, but the, the, fabric type itself um it just bugs <laughs> and it's a <coughs> excuse me it's a 28 count linen and it's french country so this is what i have and i am so sorry this one i haven't been i haven't ironed because i've been i was working on it this morning so i didn't iron it so and I'm really rough on my projects. I try not to be, but I am. Um, but this, I have to tell you a funny story. Um, so let me just show you the rest of this. And all these colors are changed. So, ooh, I'm almost finished. Like this is the end of the fabric right here. So, I only have, I only have like that little part to go, just that little part at the bottom. And this needs stretching out again. You know what, in the future, I think what I'm gonna do is any webs or anything that I do, I think I'm gonna do them at the end because of course when they're all stretched out and you get it ironed and it it seems to go back in place. But anyway, I'm the biggest dork. <laughs> so this web, oh, and I told, I told you this last, last time, my last video too. Well, I'm looking and I'm, I've got the pattern in my hand and I'm, I'm looking and everything and I'm like, okay, we're doing good. And then I, excuse me, I see this web and it's in yellow. So, what does Sandy do? She stitches it in yellow. <laughs> Biggest dark. <laughs> oh my heck. So, I stitched it in yellow. Well, then I get down here. Oh, and I stitched this, this X and this RIP in those two. They were in yellow. Well, they were in orange. And then um, this web was in orange. And so I stitched these orange. And this, oh my heck, I just have to tell you guys what a dork I am. So this part, this little grass coming out was in black on the chart. So I stitched it black. <laughs> go. Do I even know how to read a chart? Seriously? And so then I just got looking at my chart and I was looking at like the instructions and all my color changes are there. But I was looking at all the instructions and I was like, oh, I was like, oh my heck. And I was like, and I laughed. I was like, oh, Sandy, <laughs> the biggest dork. <laughs> so I took that out and I put the white that it called for, um, so I'm going to go back and do this in white. Um, that one's in white. I may have to tweak it a bit or fix it. Um, but anyway, I was just like, wow. <laughs> you are special. <laughs> so anyway, that was my funny story. I, I thought it was funny because I was like, 
And I don't get offended if you laugh and call me a dork too, because hello, like <laughs> just ah. Uh, when I told my son, he's like, "Oh, mom," <laughs> I said, "I know." <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> so that's my funny story of the day. Stay tuned, cause there may be more. Um. The next one I'm going to show you is a Plum Street Sampler. And this one is, um, <clears throat> let me, let me put it up here real quick. Um, and I love Plum Street Samplers. Um, it's funny how, like, when you start to, um, when you start cross stitching like after a while your um your tastes change and um your tastes change Ugh, can't speak today and so i never i never used to stitch any plum street or blackbird or primitive or samplers i still don't really do samplers but um like you see people stitch it and you see what it looks like after they're finished and it's like, oh, I have to cart, gotta do that. So anyway, this is a Plum Street. This is one of their first ones that I bought myself, but it's Turkey Bay. <clears throat> and I just love it. I love it. And I don't know if it's just all the bright colors or all the flowers, um, the, the two little turkeys, I just think they're so cute. And they're, they're just floating in the water. Like, oh my heck, I love it. It's so stinking cute. So, of course, I had to buy it because that's how I roll. Add to cart again. <laughs> oh, and let me see really quick. Um, I'm not sure. did. This is uh, by Fiber on a Whim and it's Milk and Honey um, 28 Count Cashel Linen. Sorry. I was trying to be all good. Um, and anyway, here's what I have so far. Don't mind my extra thread over there. Um, so I still have like a ton to go. But I do have one little turkey done. I just think it's so cute. I love it. At least the bottom's done and the borders. So I can just kind of go from there. Um, and I can't remember who was doing this that I saw. And I was like, ugh, I have to have it. Oh, yeah, we're having another fight. <laughs> Maybe they know we're on camera. So they're like, let's fight. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me um so that is fun um i've been working on that a little bit but not a ton <clears throat> i'm so sorry i have silent reflux and so i've been to the um ear nose and throat doctor and so she'll put a scope down my throat and check everything and uh, I'm just blessed with overactive glands I guess so I'm always I'm always like not coughing but like I'm always clearing my throat it drives me crazy so I apologize to you guys <laughs> so this next one is a Shannon Christine design um, warm my heart <clears throat> hopefully you can see that really good um i just think it's so cute and it came in this red but it also came in a chart with turquoise i believe anyway super super cute um and i just thought 
add to cart. <laughs> that's, that's all I ever say anymore is add to cart because I love them. And this fabric is one <clears throat> that I dyed myself. And I thought, well, what the heck? Everybody else is <laughs> dyeing their fabric. So. <laughs> um, don't worry, I don't do drugs. <laughs> Just because everybody else is. I don't. <laughs> but anyway, this is a 14 count Ada that I had. And before I tried like dyeing any linen or or even weave, I thought, I've got to try the Ada, and we'll see how that goes. But this was just a blue denim, and I love it. Um, but it, I think it's turning out so cute, and I love the colors on this, excuse me, this blue. Um, <clears throat> and I did, I did mess up here, but I was like, nice I, I was like I am not going to take out that whole I'm not <laughs> so I just love the colors on it though I just oh my heck I think it's so it's just so pretty <clears throat> and it's true what they say when you get going through your whips and stuff, like, I just want to start stitching on it again. So, just give me a day that I can just, or a year, <laughs> I can just sit and stitch, and that'll be that. Where are you going? <clears throat> this is a whip. Um, that I, I started this, I started this with, um, a group of friends on a Zoom. Um, they invited me to this Zoom with them. And so, um, and they were starting this, um, design and I was like, oh, that is super cute. So I thought... What the heck? I'll do it. <laughs> so. What you doing? He's wondering what I'm doing. I'm trying to hurry with this. This time because. Who wants to watch forever and ever? I don't know. Maybe some people do, but um, anyway, it's a Carolyn Manning design, and it is called Daisy Chain, and it it's just done like on a pink fabric. So whatever kind of pink fabric that you liked, um, you could start, <clears throat> and each one which you can see, like each one of these little squares is like child it's like full coverage so I feel like it's kind of a lot to stitch but not at the same time because it's not that big that's that's the whole I did all the border I kind of want to do you know finish off the squares so um and then the border itself like is full coverage so but look how cute I just <clears throat> I think it's the cutest thing I don't know if cute's the right word pretty I don't know <laughs> but I haven't got a ton on it um but I think it's super cute it's coming along and um It's just not a seasonal piece, so I tend to not work on it as often, and I should. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy cow. So, I gotta get that done.
All right, and then the next one is um, one with um, Primrose Cottage stitches. Love them. Um, they're coming to they're coming to Ogden for the Stitch West. Um, the Stitch West Retreat put on by Snug Harbor Crafts. And I'm so excited because I get to go. And it's right here so I don't have to buy a hotel because it's just a, by my house. <laughs> well, it's about 10 minutes away driving. But um, anyway, this is... <clears throat> and they're coming to... You know, they're the guest, the guest people. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Hive Rules. Um, my sister just texted and said they've got three more to go. So, it's taken a bit. Um, anyway... Hive rules. You've probably seen this like all over the place. And I've done a ton of their other stuff, but I still need to get this finished. And this is where I am. And it's just a 28 count. And I did use all their called for colors because I love, I love all these colors. Um, so it's a 28 count white even weave. So, um, there is that. Hold on. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> My sister just gave us an update saying that, um, they've done two bypasses so far. They've got three more to go. So, it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy how like how long it takes we've never had anybody oh my gosh that is disgusting Ugh. sorry i have all this cat hair Ugh. but i don't want a hairless cat <laughs> so that is um, the Hive Rules. This one is their Honeybee Quaker. This was their, um, oh, their Sip and Stitch. Well, they just had a new one, their Autumn one, but the one before that. So I got this one. And I'm not a huge Quaker person, but I think it's cute. And... I have a ton of their other B stuff. So, and you guys, I don't know if I told you last time, but holy cow, I have a sewing machine that I bought and I thought, if it kills me, I'm going to learn how to sew. I didn't pay attention in school, but I'm going to pay attention now. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <clears throat> this is it. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling today, you guys, I tell you. This is all I have so far. So, oh wait, there we go. <laughs> if I'd hold it up right, huh? Cat can't decide where he wants to go. So this is all I have so far, um, but super easy, super, it's, it's quick. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the Quaker motif more and more. So, um, we'll see what happens there. You never know. <laughs> but that's been fun. <clears throat> okay. These ones, um, I went down to Shepherd's Bush and... 
cat hair everywhere. It's driving me crazy. I just have to vacuum every single day is all. No big deal. But this, um, I thought I'd try out. This is a, I don't know what you, just minus all the cat hair. I'm so sorry. Um, it's like the fold. Oh, okay. It's like the, the fold kind. Um, sorry. I have all my loose threads that I keep in here. But anyway, that's from Lake Wind Studio. And they have two different pockets. Um, and then she put, she put this in there and it's like a, a thread, an or thing for your little threads. I thought it was so cute. So it just folds up and you put it in this little pocket here and then, <clears throat> um, there's a magnet here. There's a little clip. Um, she had a different pair of scissors and there, there was some project, but anyway, I always put the thread I'm using there and then this just comes around and they've got pockets and this pocket, um, it's just fun. So I thought I'd try it, but this is, <clears throat> I think this is the one I'm working on right now. They're little snippets, I think they're called, or no, this one's a jingle by Lizzie Kate. I'm trying to hold it up so you can read it. Um, and I'm doing as, doing them as little ornaments. So, um, I have that one and I have this one. I just think they're so cute. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's adorable. This one, um, wise men still seek him. And then this one is a snippet into all a good night. Um, and I think that's the one I showed last week. I think, um, wherever it ended up. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's super cute. So this is the one, um, oh, I haven't done the haven't done the rain the reindeer one yet so well we'll scoot this over so hopefully I can get both of them in because I used the same material of course so this one is um, Wait till December 25th. And I still have to finish that one up. And then that's the... The wise men still seek him. That one's finished. Um, I just felt like starting another one, so I didn't, um, like, cut them out yet. And I, I just think they're so cute. So I'm going to make them in little ornaments. I shouldn't say little because... Like, this one would be cute as an ornament. This one's a little bit bigger, so I don't know. We'll have to see. <clears throat> it isn't December 24th yet. <laughs> and I tend to wait. And this piece is like, it's pretty big. You know what I mean? For all these um, all these um, little ones I'm doing. So, I'm not sure. It's a, I'm not sure what color it is, so I apologize. It's a 28 count linen, but I, I don't know what, I don't know what color. If I find out, I will definitely let you know. But anyway, that one. <sighs> I still have so much more. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a part three. I don't know. 
Um, oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I forgot to put one back. I don't want it to get lost. Um, let's see. And I'm trying to be so nice and put them in nice so that they don't get all like squishy. Okay. And then you guys, holy cow. I love, I love um, Little Stitch Girl. And I think I showed you some of hers last week. This one, <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys have seen them. She came out with, um, she came out with like a, um, what did she call them? It's like a spooky street type thing. So she's got all these little, um, like houses and different things. You have to go check it out. It's so stinking cute. But anyway, I'm doing, and they have, um, I'll show you just a few. There's, um, this one is Spooky Hollow. It's number nine. And if I can find the, the picture of like all of them and I guess the idea is that you stitch them all together and there's the like the cobble street cobblestone street there and then the next one you'll connect it and so there's just house after house well I picked out the ones that I most like I liked them all but oh there's just there's just something about them I just love it I love them and this is the first one I did um, and so <clears throat> what I did is I just picked out the ones I liked the best and then I started putting them in the order how I wanted. Oh, they're so cute. And I think this is the one I believe I'm working on now is the boutique. Oh my heck. How stinking cute are those? A little Dracula. Oh my heck, he's so stinking cute. But anyway, I'll show you how. And this, I apologize, is not ironed at all. And so, it's a mess. So, this, and it is like long. It goes from this arm clear over to this arm. <laughs> Because I think, if if I remember right, I think she has 12 of them, I think. And I think I'm only doing like, I, I want to say like nine, maybe. Oh, I'm backwards. Huh. Okay. Anyway. I'm going to, <laughs> and it's, it's almost comical how I, um, stitch in hand with this because I, I'm right handed. And so I'll, I'll put the rest of the fabric. I should roll it all up, but in my hoop, I have my stuff I'm stitching. So I have the rest of it just kind of flowing down to my right. <laughs> Uh, it's almost, it's almost funny how it looks, but it works, I guess. So. I'm doing like, I think I said like nine. Um. All in a row. So. It's going to look puffy because I've got all the extra material there. Um. The, and I'll just show you. This is what I have so far. This is the spider's spider's web stitchery. So, um, and I love him. Isn't he cute? Look how cute. 
just, oh, I love him. This is on a 28 count linen and it's like a, a purple color. I hope you can see it good. Um, but it's so stinking cute. The grass and then the stone and then it stopped somewhere here. Now I'm going on to the, that's the, um, barber shop. Sorry. I got them. I got them mixed up. The boutique is the one I'm doing next over here, but that's it so far. So, you know, it's not going to be done by this Halloween and maybe not even next Halloween. So this is going to take a little bit, but oh my heck, look at her hair. He's doing her hair. <laughs> is that not the cutest? Oh my heck. Um, oh, I just love these. I do. I just love them. So, um, so I... You know, when you first get something and you're like so excited and everything and you start on it right away and then you put it down and work on something else, <laughs> then it falls to the wayside. Um, but there's like, there's like a whole bunch of pages. Um, that's the one I'm working on. The boutique is next. This one... Dracula's Coffin. This is the order I'm I'm doing them in. The Cemetery. So stinking cute. Um, and you could do any one of these just by itself. You know. Um, and this one is the Monster Mash Dance Hall. Oh, my heck. And the white is going to show up better, of course, because I'm doing it on the purple. And this is the bed and breakfast. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. Oh, my heck. So anyway, um, that might be all that I'm doing on those. There is a few more. There's like a schoolhouse, I think. Um, and, oh, there's where my green ones are. Huh. I use these, um, they're lights. And this is how I stitch. And they have a... They have a USB port thing there, but I just turn them on and they, they go up three notches, but that's what I do is that's my light that I use. So I just put it on and I angle it. They angle all over the place. These are the best things ever. You get them on Amazon and I want to say they're like. 15, 16, I think, but I love them. I have like three or four pair. So I'll have two that's like charged all the time. I never run out of lights. I've been looking for those. That is hilarious. But um, this is a Lake House Stitch Co. bag. It's one of their extra large bags because I wanted something big and it's not Halloween, but I wanted something big to put in because this is a big project. And so they have a, a handle and she's like they're extra large and they're really, really made really well. Um, I love them. I love them. So that's one project that Sorry, you guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, that is one project I need to get back to. But, so stinking cute. I love it.
so. And then this one is everybody was doing um everybody was doing those temperature charts and I just I don't know. I thought, nah, I don't know, I can't get into it right now. I just can't. Well then one day I was just looking on um the Stitch and Mommy, because she's the one. If there's more people that do them, I'm not sure. But <clears throat> I was looking on her um, website, and I was like, well, I'll just see. I'll just Don't ever just go look, because you'll end up with it. <laughs> you'll end up with one <laughs> or two or three, whatever. Um, but anyway... I, of course, fell in love with one and had to get it. And this one is stitched on. It's a 28 count Lugana Ocean Sand. And um, it is temperature wander with me because of cats. I love my cats. So I had to have this one and I just think it's adorable. And I have a tiered tray um, downstairs in my living room that has cat stuff on it. So I thought, wouldn't that be fun to put that by the tiered tray? I don't, I don't know if it would fit in it. But I thought, oh, look how fun. And the little fishing pole, or the toy. Oh, my heck so stinking cute so of course I had to get it and this is how far I am I started actually July 1st so I didn't start the traditional January so and that's okay it doesn't bother me I don't mind but <clears throat> I think it's really cute and I hope you can see the the color of the and I didn't iron this one either the color of I'm so sorry, you guys. I think I have to delete some stuff from my phone. It keeps, well, that time it said my time has been reached. So if that happens again, I'm going to have to delete something. But anyway, look how stinking cute. <laughs> I just, ah, oh, so cute. I love it. And, um, you know, obviously these are all the hot temperatures. That one was a cool day. It's got one little pad that's like that color that was a cool day. And I, st I have a couple weeks to go. <clears throat> and then one paw with the four little pads, um, the big pad and then the four little pads, that's one week. Well, five days. But, oh my heck, is that not cute? I love it. So anyway, that is my temperature chart that I thought, what the heck? I'll get on board. I'll do it. I'll do it. Pick me. So, and I just think that material is so pretty. And again, Terry from Shepherd's Bush helped me because... She knows I struggle. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Um, these ones are all kind of, they're all, um, they're all, uh, stitching with the housewives the calendar crates, October. Um, I started this one, 14 count black Ada. Um, it's just the ghosts in the top. Um, and then I did, um, I don't know if you saw that good, but I have a lot of theirs started and I just haven't, I just haven't 
I've got stitching with the housewives all over the place. This is one of their, like, I think it's the back of the truck, because there's the start of the truck. It's the pumpkin picking day or something. Um, so, that one's there. Um, this one is, I'm not even sure what that one is. <laughs> Isn't that sad? And then I did start the April um, calendar crates. So, and I've only, I've got that so far. I just, I think they're way cute. Um, and then the May calendar crate. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus today. Um, I still have another stack. Oh my heck. Uh, this is the Stitching with the Housewives, the May calendar crates. And that's all I've got done on that one. Um, so... I have to, I think I've decided I have to make like a certain, I don't know what you call it, like a certain day or something that I only stitch their stuff or like two days because I have so much of their stuff that I need to like get caught up on and stuff. I just think, am I really ever going to get caught up on their stuff? Probably not, but we'll sure give it a try. <laughs> Um, so there's that one. This one is, um, and I have most of theirs in, like, not, back up, not most of theirs. <laughs> They're, excuse me, the Hands on Design, their seasons, a year of celebrations. And I, I think I have like half done and I still have to do the other half and I have the second season. Um, so I have this little itty bitty July start and I don't have the picture, so I'm so sorry. Just this little itty bitty thing and it's, um, and it's Queen's and Queen Anne's Lace. I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's a really pretty... Um, it's a 28 count even weave um, but that's really pretty you can't see it very well um, and then this next one is it's a newer whip and it is a Plum Street sampler it's <laughs> oh, anyway, it's the Milk and Cream Co. Company. So, Plum Street, so cute. I'm going to hang that in my kitchen because my kitchen is like a farmhouse style type. That's how okay, I got to make this super quick because I got to wait for my son to get home to finish this video because <laughs> it keeps timing out on me. So I probably have too much, too much storage, not storage, too much that I've used. Um, just to show you really quick, this is that milk, milk and cream. I think it was, um, I don't have very much. I did get all the border done. Um, and then I did start like on the top there. So not much. Um, I think it's a vintage country mocha one. Um, and I did want to show you real quick. Um, I have been doing, and so far, knock on wood, keeping up with um, 
the monthly weigh-ins with Stitching with the Housewives. In one of my next videos, I'll show you two um, my finishes that I've got so far, but I'm almost done with November. I just have to do that scale right there. Um, and I am so sorry it's still in the hoop. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm so sorry. It's still in the hoop because I've only got a little bit left. So see how rough I am on my stuff. But all of this is finished. Look at that stinking cute turkey. Oh my heck. And I just have to do the scale right there and then that one's done. So hopefully next time I video, um, after my whips, I can show you that finish. But I'm super excited. I've been you know, staying caught up with those. Um, and like I said, I got to figure out as far as like the video goes, like what's going on. Cause it's not letting me. So thank you guys so much for watching. There'll be a part three apparently, or maybe later I can finish and put this all together. There's just a few, there's just a few more, but my camera won't let me so have a good stitching time. If I see you in a little bit, then that will be great. And we'll wrap up the whip parade. Um, but you guys, thank you so much for watching and the shout out and all the comments and the well wishes and glad you're back. I so appreciate it. Hi, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> We've had some technical difficulties, so I apologize. Um, today is Sunday, October 8th, and um, it's been a pretty day out there. Um, this is Sandy with Goofy Mama Stitches. Um, I think I'm going to be putting this on the end of the video, though. So, um, I may or may not. But it's my channel all about cross-stitch and some finishing. Um, every once in a while, some diamond art, but usually not that much. Um, I was doing my whip parade, but then my camera kept, my phone kept saying um, that I was out of storage. And so then it, I would go in and move things around and delete what I didn't need. Not all of it, but some of it. And so I'm like, oh, okay. <clears throat> and then it would let me record for three more minutes. And so I'm like, okay, we are getting nowhere. Cause I tried that like two or three times. <laughs> I was like, I'm so done. But anyway, I have a few, I have a couple of finishes and then I have sir, some FFOs and then I have um, a few FOs and, um, and then just the rest of my whip parade, my, the rest of what I have. The first video that I did last week, or was it the week before now? Anyway, a week or two ago, um, I counted, because I remember asking you guys, if you're counting, let me know how many whips you see. <laughs> I think I asked you guys. But I counted 17. And then my last video that I was working on, I forgot. So I'm going to go back because I really want to know how many whips I have. But anyway, this is a finish. We'll start off with that. Oh, I was going to tell you guys too. Um, I, well, I've been talking to my sister and my brother-in-law um, is doing better. He had to have a four bypass. I don't know what you call it. Like the four bypasses. Um, so he's still in intensive care unit and... My sister had to go up today at a certain time to learn how to take care of him. I guess like, you know, the different things. Um, so I haven't talked to her since then, but um, so far so good. He's, he's doing good. I think he's still in a lot of pain, but glad he made it out of surgery and, and everything's good so far. So we're going to hopefully keep it that way. Um, so I'm just going to start with my FFOs and this is from, um, Primrose Cottage Stitches, um, the winter wishes 
than snowman kisses. I can't read backwards. So just a simple finish and it's kind of funny when I look at my finishes and like I'm so not a professional. <laughs> um, I look at them and I'm like, wow, I really could have done that better. Or, you know, I, I, I'm really hard on myself. I don't do it on purpose, but super hard on myself. So I go through and I'm like, wow, look at, look at this, look at that. And it's not that I'm that a negative of a person. I just look at it, but you know what? At the same time, I think it's cute. I like it. And it's, it's off places, but you know what? That's okay. I'm learning to accept it and I'm fine with it. But it was stitched on a 28 count um, Wren, I believe, but I'm not sure. And uh, I just used all the called for colors. So just a simple bow. And I believe this, this backing here is from Poppy Cotton Fabrics. And I just really liked how they have the the X's in them, the crosses. So I think that turned out super cute. So that's one of them. That's been done for a little bit, but I've just been lazy and not put it in my box. Um, this is the monthly weigh-in by Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, and it's funny because I did actually originally buy the scale for this series but then I just the more I got thinking about it and looking at it I just didn't want it I didn't want it so I gave it to a friend but this is the September hopefully and this was just a wood piece that I got I think at Walmart I believe um, and this was this is just a, a cute orange pumpkin backing that I had in my stash and then this is the um, Vintage Country Mocha, and it's 28 count. That's usually what I stitch on. So I just did a, a bow with some pumpkin, <sighs> some pumpkin ribbon and a sunflower in the middle. And then this is just some fabric that I had, I kind of used for Easter, I think one year, but kind of has all the colors in it as well. So I... I picked that and then I just magnetized them so that I can stick the other ones on. Um, and then I had to put that little scarecrow in there. I just think he's so cute. I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> so I do have... Um, I do have October's stin it, stinched. <laughs> I was gonna say stitched and finished at the same time. I do have it stitched and partially finished. So sorry, there's some strings hanging out. So and this one, um, I just have to. I mean, we're in October, so this one. This one I did on a, I want to say it's dapple gray. I could be wrong, but it's a 28 count even weave on dapple. Or is it linen? It's linen. Never mind. It's a linen. Um, so I did that, and then I got the little October with it. Um, and again, it's all ski wampus. So when I'm finishing like this, for some reason I can finish better with Ada versus even Weaver Lint. Excuse me. So um, I have these two that I just need to finish, fully finish, do a fully finish on it. And then that one's done. Cat is so stinking cute. And he does have the little, you just can't see it very well. But I just think it's so adorable. I'm excited. So I have to finish that one so I can stick that one up. Um, 
And then these are some finishes that I had last time and I forgot to, to take them up and show you guys. This is one, oh, I gotta get out my board because you might not be able to. Hold on. <laughs> So oh, sorry, dropped my board on the floor. So this is one, I think it's by Shannon Christine Designs. So, and I don't know where my other clips went, so that's okay. Um, Shannon Christine Designs, and this is, I think it's on a, it's a stormy gray. It's on even weave. 28 count, so two over two. And this is um, October 31st. Look at that spider. Is he not adorable? I just think he's cute. Um, and you can tell, like, I have issues with my French knots, but I, I have, like, a love-hate relationship with them. I really like them. I like the look of them. But to do them, it's like hit or miss. Sometimes I do them and they look really good. Other times I'm like, yeah, I need to do that over. <laughs> so that's Shannon Christine designs. And then this one is another one of hers. And these were, um, I forget what you call it, but they had like different, different parts, different can't think of what you'd call it like different parts that she would put out and all of a sudden I'm like I'm blanking so same fabric no it's not <laughs> no it's not this is like a gray stormy and this one is I think this is did I do this one no and I still have to iron some of these but this one is a 14 count Ada so two over one and I took four of hers. I wish I would have left more spacing, but there's like one, two, three, four, um, four little patterns. And I think it turned out, I think it turned out good. I haven't, you know, obviously, well, I haven't really thought of anything to do yet, but, um, my sister did this and I really liked it. And I'm not, I can't remember what, which ones that she had picked, but, um, she left more space. This kind of almost looks like, almost like it's hard to read. So that part, I wish I would have done better, but I still have to finish this one. Like we're in October, Sandy, get going. <laughs> Shannon Christine Designs, um, super cute. And I don't have the patterns with me, so I'm so sorry. Um, and one more Shannon Christine designs. Maybe it was like a year of Shannon Christine. I don't know. Um, but. Sorry. I'm trying to grab my pins real quick and. This is, um, I can't even remember the name of it. I can't even remember the name of it. All of a sudden it's, it's escaping me, but I did it on a black 14 count Ada. So two over one. And then, um, this, it has kettle corn, but they also have popcorn, I believe, but I picked the kettle corn. And then I just did the rest of them, the, the called for colors, but oh my heck, so stinking cute. And I love, again, if you've ever watched me before, I love all her colors. Um, and they're DMC. So I have, um, I have lots of projects of hers and lots of, um, patterns still waiting to be stitched. So I, I keep hers. I try to keep it like all of her projects in one bag or the ones that I'm working on the most 
because it has like her main palette of colors that she uses. So I think, oh, that's, you know, I could work on quite a few of her projects at the same time. Um, not at the same time, but I mean, have all the colors there. So, um, is that not stinking cute? I love it. I can't wait to, to finish these. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to have a finishing party by myself <laughs> so I can, <clears throat> excuse me, so I can get these finished. Um, and then last one, this is a long one, so, um, and this is one that I showed you guys last time that I was working on, but I ended up finishing it, so yay, I'm so excited. And this one has been in my whip pile for, I swear, a couple of years, it's, it's gotta be, I, I believe it's a 2020 it's a 2020 pattern. Um, I think it's All Hallows Eve by Little Dove Designs in the UK. Um, and then, sorry, there's a hair that doesn't want to come off. Come on. Um, but I did it all in the called for colors. I gotta, I gotta fix this spider web. But, um, and I did change all the colors. I didn't really. I didn't really care for the colors that they chose. So Terry at Shepherd's Bush helped me pick out um, new colors. So I've had it for a few years. So I decided to pick it back up because what I'm trying to do is like pick some old whips and then like have one or two of like the old, my oldest whips and then kind of work on those more while I'm still focusing on maybe newer projects because I thought that way like I feel like I'm making progress on my oldest whips so this was one of the older ones um, and if you remember last time this web was in yellow so I was like yep that's got to come out we got to change up so <laughs> put that one white um, this web's driving me nuts once I stretch it and finish it, it's going to be fine. But I was, I was about, I, I finished the graves and the bird and I had a little bit of the house done. So I did all of this in just like a week or two, I think. I was really trying to get it done for Halloween. So, um, All Hallows Eve. And it looks like that skeleton isn't done, but he's done. His eyes just look really, um, so, and those two frogs, I thought they were cute. So, yay, I finally finished that one. And it feels, it feels super good to get to get um, that one done because it was one of my older whips. <clears throat> so, um, so it feels good to get that done. Um, and then we will go on to, this is one I was doing so good on this too. I really was. And then I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I don't know if I got kind of tired of, of stitching on it or if I'm not sure to be exact, but this is, uh, let me grab it here real quick. This is Little House Needleworks and it is the, whoops. Okay, let me have my stuff. It is the Fall on the Farm, and it's a 28 count Joblin chai tea. So that's the fabric, and I decided to do it all at once. So I have these on my chair, so I hope it doesn't fall. 
But this one is the Joblin Chai Tea, and I just think this is so pretty. Um, and I was going strong for like six months, and then I just stopped. So I'm just going to finish the ones down below, the other three, and then I'm finished with it. I'm going to get it framed. Um, but I just think it's so cute. And I love, I love each individual piece. The cow there. Oh my heck. And this, this middle piece, when I first was doing it, I was like, oh, that won't take long at all. There's no, it's just a little border and then it's just a little thing in the middle. Well, that's full coverage. Like that little thing, full coverage. It took me longer to do this than the other. So I was like, what were you thinking? <laughs> but anyway, um, so excited. So I don't know if I'm going to have it done this year. Probably not, but it'll be all done and framed and ready for next year. So I'm excited about that. And this is the next, hopefully there's no glare. There's that one. There's the barn with the, is that a cat? Looks like a cat and the pigs. I think they're pigs. <laughs> So cute. Oh, I'm so excited. It just makes me want to do it. I just need to do it. But don't we say that on every project? It's like, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think this video will be as long. I, I don't know. I hope not because I don't want to like... keep you guys forever. But that is Okay. Let go. So this one is the And this one is the November weigh-in. So I actually haven't stitched this one yet, but I have this all finished except for that scale and the little part over here on the bottom. But you guys, I'm so bad because I was working on it late last night. I'm gonna work on it after this video. So it is, it is still in my hoop. So it looks horrible. And I know I've messed up on some stitches and stuff, but I'm going with it. I'm just going with it. So that's all I have to do is just that scale, a few of the stuff around it, the little legs, um, and the little part in there, and then it's finished. So I'm super excited. Um, and then my needle minder weekend forecast Cross stitch with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. I love it. So true. Except for yesterday, my son and I um, spent six hours on the garage, just totally cleaning out the garage. I mean, I still have like my totes of like my seasons and, you know, different stuff like that. So I still have my stuff that goes in the garage, but now we can actually park the car in there. I'm so excited. <laughs> but this is, um, I forgot to tell you, it's a 28 count linen and it's the vintage country mocha. So two over two. Um, and I really like it because I like all the modeling. I think country mocha is one of my favorites, but, and I, I think with hers, I think she's doing the same one for every month. The Monaco tea dyed, I think. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong. But I think she's doing that every month. But I thought it would be fun to change out the fabric. So that's what I'm going to do is, is just change out the fabric every month. Her Christmas one, I can't wait to get that one. 
I already pre-ordered it, so hopefully that should come soon. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so hopefully that one will come soon and I can get started on it. Um, I think I might do that one. I don't know. I was kind of thinking, I mean, I'd have to get it, of course. Um, I'd have to get it and kind of see, but I was thinking maybe like a blue or maybe like a, I don't know. I don't know. Light red, maybe. I don't know. So sorry. <laughs> this is um, Hands On Design, and this is the Christmas Tiny Town um, that she came out with. And of course, oops, you guys have seen it. It's adorable. Um, probably have done it, but I just think they're so cute. And I, I love all the tiny towns. Even I got the one from Keepsakes. I got the, the, is it Seaside Tiny Town? I got that one. I don't even live anywhere near a beach or a lake. Um, the Great Salt Lake, that's about, depending on how fast you're driving, <laughs> about 45, 50 minutes, sometimes an hour. <laughs> but this is where I got, and let me see super quick if yeah the this one is a sand 28 count Lugana sand and I don't know what happened but I have these stains here but I should be okay because the, I don't know, I should be okay. But this is as far as I've gotten. Um, I think it's turning out pretty cute. And I just used all the called for colors, so two over two. Um, and I went to iron these. Um, you know, so that I'd have them all ready for the my wood parade. And um, I was like, oh, I didn't know how far. I didn't know I was that far along. I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was that. I was that far along. It was crazy. But this one also is in the same bag. And it's her um, heart and hand. It's the Noel doodles and I just thought it was so cute so so cute so I thought and I I kind of want to do all her doodles as well so and this one is on um, 28 count Lugana caramel and so that's just as as much as I've gotten just the little itty bitty just a little itty bitty part, but that one also, um, just all the called for colors. So two over two over two on Lugana, um, caramel or caramel, however you want to say it. I say caramel, but anyway, I love the variegation. I think it's pretty. Um, so those two are coming along. Um, every, I like, I like, uh, stitching in the season and so um when I, I what I'm gonna plan to do like when I put all my whips away I'm gonna I'm going to try and like organize them so this is Christmas Thanksgiving Halloween Fourth of July well I don't know well that's what I want to do. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it actually works. But I really want to do that. Um, and I did buy these folders from Walmart. And 
they have, I should have brought one with me. I'll show you next video. But they, ha they have, um, you open it up and it's got just the, the flap so you can put your papers like inside. And so I bought three of them because I, and I tried to organize it like the first few is like winter, snow, stuff like that. So like January, maybe December-ish, that's not Christmas. Um, oops, something fell on the floor. I should see my table, it's a mess. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try and organize it that way. So like when I get in the, in the holiday, so Christmas, it's like, okay, what can I, what can I get out and work on that's Christmas? So I'm excited for that. Um, this next one is by, um, let's see, Sugar Stitches Cross Stitch Designs. Um, and this is stitched on 32 count linen and it's the Vintage Country Mocha. And it's a marshmallow world. I don't know if you guys have seen this around much, but oh my heck, it's so cute. So this one is gonna take a few years. I just, I just know it. <laughs> so, um, I just think it's so cute. It's just fun and whimsical and I just thought, got to do that. I've got to do that. So this is all I've got started on this. <laughs> You're going to be shocked. That's it. <laughs> Starting on the border. Um, and I love it on this um, vintage country mocha. I think it's, it's going to be pretty. And the colors all show up. So I'm excited to I think I might start stitching some of the like ornaments and stuff like that so I don't because too much border you're just like I'm finished you know so that's gonna be fun just have a few more so I do need to get that out and work on it though Maybe I'll work on it a little bit this year. This one is a, this is a um, 14 count. I want to say it's oatmeal Ada, light oatmeal, maybe. I'll double check. Hold on. <laughs> but this one's a Christmas one. And this one is, oh, and I don't know if I showed you. You probably has cat hair, but this is my bag that my friend made. And it's just stripe on the inside, but they're so cute. And so I thought, oh, that's a perfect bag for that one. This one is a Christmas bag, Christmas trees, um, and then she did the this kind of backing there. I just think it's so cute. So let me see if this says anything. Probably not. Nope. But I I think let me look really quick. I'm so sorry. Cause she did it. Yes. So the model was stitched on 14 count Fiddler's Cloth Oatmeal Light. And that's what I used with all the called for colors. And it's by, it's designed by Diane Arthurs. And I just thought that was so stinking cute. Again, I love bright colors. And it's got, you know, a ton of back stitch, but I just kind of back stitch as I go. So um, these were kind of a pain in the butt to do. I am not going to lie. These leaves or whatever. Oh my word. 
they were a pain in the rear end. But that's okay. I still like it. I'm carrying forward. I'm soldiering on. <laughs> um, so this is two over one. And this is what I have done so far. So I just have the rest of this word and I'll be done because all of that is completely, completely finished. Um, but I love how every word is just different. Every word, every letter is just different. Um, and the little dove right there. So cute. And the snowman looks like he has one eye. Oh, he does have two. I was probably looking at it weird. But anyway, so cute. And that's fun. That's been fun to stitch on. A lot of color changes, but it's super cute. It's just fun to uh, work on that. So I think, I think that might be my focus piece. And that's an older whip as well. But I think that might be my focus piece for this winter. I'll still stitch on other Christmas stuff, but I think I want to try and get that one finished. So that will be exciting because that's like, hallelujah, another finish. <sighs> my nose is driving me crazy. This one, I seen it on somebody's video, and I apologize, I can't remember who, but I fell in love with it. Actually, I think it was the Sunshine Stitchers. That's who it was. I seen it on their video. I don't think they were stitching it, but they had gone to this place, and this store or something, and someone had had it on the wall. So I seen that and I was like, okay, back up the bus. Who is this? Like, I, I need to have it. <clears throat> and this one is, this one my best friend made. It's, she knows I love moose. Is that not adorable? So she found this moose fabric. That's what it is on the front. So she made me this one. So cute. And I seen this somewhere else too. Gosh, I can't remember. But it says on the off chance you won't live forever, you may as well be happy today. And it's by Sam Sarah Design Studio Inc. And it comes in three, at least this one that I got came in three different parts. So you have to buy all three, of course. Um, but I did mine on a look really quick. Really? Okay, who knows what I did with it. But these are all the called for colors as well. They're all um, like classic color works, I think. Weeks Dye Works. Um, yeah, they're all Weeks Dye Works. Um, but anyway, it's on a 28 count Joblin even weave. And it's, I think the color is called Raspberry, I believe. Anyway, so stinking cute. But this is what I have so far. I'm almost finished with the second piece. And I don't know that I ironed this one. Maybe I didn't. I was trying to have them all ironed for you guys so you can at least. Um, but some of these, you know, these that flower took a while. Um, that's taken a bit. But I love the variegation in it. So I'm trying to backstitch as I go as well and try to put the buttons on. And I just am careful when I put my hoop on to go around like 
the buttons, you know what I mean? So I don't smash the buttons. But oh, I just think it's so cute. So I just have, this is the end of it. So I just have this part as the third part. And then I'm going to get this framed as well. So I think that's going to be super cute. The little cupcake, the wings, and just variegation everywhere. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and again, two over two on the Joblin. I just think it's so cute. And every time you look at your projects, you're like, I really want to get stitching on this. <laughs> so, and I have, I have noticed lately, and I'm sure it's dawned on me before and I just didn't really pay attention, but I've noticed it's, if I stitch anything that's not, um, that's not seasonal, like, I just tend to, eh, whatever. Like, I don't tend to stitch on it as much. And I should, but maybe, maybe my brain is like, no, you need to focus on all your, you know, all your seasonal pieces. Even though I like the other ones too. I don't know. <laughs> this one is, um, this is a bag made by her, my best friend also. Um, she found this fabric on sale and she's like, do you want a bag? And I said, um, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love Olaf? Um, so, and then this one is, if I can get it out, this one is the Snowballs for Sale. Um, it's so Emma Stitchery by Lori Holt. Um, and this is a few years old as well. Snowballs for sale. I just thought it was so cute. And I think, um, I don't think my, yeah, I don't think I kept it. So I'm not sure exactly what, what cloth it is. Um, I don't know what kind, I don't know what kind I used, but anyway, Snowballs for sale. And this is what I have so far. Um, it's an it's variegated and it's a 28 count even weave. Um, that's all I have so far. So I need to pick this up this winter and start working on it. And I don't think it'll get done this winter either. But it's a variegated, it almost looks green, like a green variegated color, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, but it's cute. It's been fun to stitch. I just need to get back to it. That's all. I just need to get back to it. <laughs> so... I think we only have a couple more. And I haven't even been paying attention this video either of like how many whips I have. Maybe I don't want to know. I don't know. I keep forgetting to count. <laughs> okay. So this one is um, also she made this bag um, and then just a matching color and this one is the seasonal samplings by Primrose Cottage um, the spring one I just think it's so stinking cute and I haven't got very far um, it looks like that they had used um, 36 count flax linen and they did two over two and I was at my LNS and I saw this material and it's just a, a 28 count light khaki gingham. 
and I just thought it was so cute. So don't, don't mind all my threads, but I just thought it would be cute to stitch on that. I wasn't sure, but I'm loving it. Um, and I haven't got way, way far, but so cute. I just think it's so cute. And that bunny, the bird in the tree, the bird houses. I just love it. It's just so springy and fresh. It is spring after all, but, <laughs> um, and I am using all the called for colors as well. So, and let's see, and I'm trying to be more like, I'm trying to be more aware of like, I'm trying to save more, um, of like my material, what I stitch it on and stuff, because you know, I mean, if people want to know, but I might want to know later as well. Um, just never know. And I pack my bag full of my, my pattern. I have my floss in there. I've got my reader glasses. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I can stitch everything. Um, and I think you guys, I'm looking around. I think, um, that's all I have. That's all my whips. Wow. Woo. We finished. <laughs> so, um, I did have, I told you guys, I did, I did, I do. Oh my heck. Somebody stop me now. <laughs> I do have a giveaway. Um, this is one I bought years ago. So, you know, I totally get it. If you don't want it, if you do want it. Um, and it's just hands-on design. And it was with the chalk for the home with Priscilla. And it's the winter. Um, I think it's cute. I just, I just know I'm not going to stitch it. I'm not. So this is a giveaway. So if you want this, um, it does come, you know, with both, of course, this one and this one. That would even be cute to just put as a pillow in your dough bowl. I don't have a dough bowl. I've never even made a pillow, but I am going to learn. But if, if you guys want this, um, just put winter in your comments. Um, and I can use the random comment picker. Um, and just like everybody else, be 18, be a subscriber, like the video. Um, I'll ship it wherever. Um, and um, I think it's cute. I just, I just know I won't stitch it. I just know it. So if you want this one, just write the word winter, um, and then I can, um, I'll let you know if you've won this. And then this one, I, I'm giving this away too. And this one, don't ask me what I think when I buy stuff. I have no idea. This one is the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And that it's the one that just came out, the 23 fall. And do you guys know that this pattern is the reason why I bought the whole magazine? Look how stinking cute that turkey is. I had to get him. I just had to. <laughs> and I didn't realize, again, don't ask me, but I didn't realize, oh, it's by... Um, Crocetta Gogo. -Go. So I didn't realize that it was a magazine I was buying. The pattern said, because I was clicking on it and it said it was, oh gosh, I can't even remember. It was like eight ninety-five or something like that. So it was the magazine, of course, but I didn't realize. I thought it was just the pattern. So I was like, 
I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. I can do that and blah, blah, whatever. And so I buy it and then the checkout was, um, I think the shipping was like $9 or $10 or something. And I was like, for just a pattern. And I was like, that is crazy. And it didn't like process through my brain until later. And I was like, oh, that's because it was a magazine. Hello. And I can't show you in the book because it's, it's the, well, I can show you this. Um, oh man, is he not so adorable? Look at that turkey. Oh, I have to stitch him. I have to. That may, e that may even be um, a new start in the next few weeks. I don't have anything. I don't have anything in here in here. I don't have anything that I've stitched in the past that is um, a turkey. I've never stitched a turkey. Well, I mean, I have now that I have some whips, but before I've never had any turkeys that I've stitched and I thought, I have to stitch him. And then this one I was going to show you um, if you haven't seen it. Could you imagine stitching that? Holy Hannah. Whoo. That's a lot of orange. <laughs> It'd be fun though. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry. And then this one is the one by Priscilla and Chelsea, Stitching with the Housewives. Um, I think it's just called Fall. Seasonal Row Fall. I thought that one was super cute. So I thought, oh, I may stitch that one too. But other than that, like I, I, there's nothing in here that I want. Just those two. And it's a lot of, you know, punch needle and stuff and I don't do that and didn't realize it. So I'm going to give away this magazine because you guys can probably enjoy this more than me. So, um, in your comments below, if you want this one, just put thankful. So just winter and thankful. And please, you guys, if you, if you like what you've seen, of course, um, like and subscribe, um, share the video, um, get notifications. Usually, I'm, well, in the past, I should say, I'm going to try and do videos like every three weeks. Usually is a good time for me. Sometimes it's four weeks, just depending on what's going on and Sorry, I feel like there's like dust bunnies all over. And, you know, depending, of course, like on what's going on and stuff. But um, I'm trying to, you know, do better at coming back like every, I want to do every three weeks. But, you know, we'll kind of see how everything goes. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope you're able to relax and enjoy your stitching or craft, whatever you're doing. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. I might take a nap, to be honest. <laughs> I think I slept maybe two hours last night, and I don't know why. I went to sleep. Well, I was stitching, and I, I finished that Halloween one, that big long one, and then I started working on the November way in so I could get that scale done and then I was like okay I'm done and so then I put it up turned off excuse me I was on my bed so I turned off my lamp and I'm like okay now I can relax go to sleep and I I think I fell asleep for an hour and then I was up 
that's it. And then I went to sleep for another hour. The cat's going to come join me. Look, can you say hi? <laughs> She's like, put me down. <laughs> she likes to come see her mama. Huh, baby? But I only slept like an hour and then I woke up and then I actually was stitching more thinking, okay, I'm going to stitch more, see if that makes me tired. So it was probably maybe another, probably a couple of hours that I stitched some more. And then I was like, hi, baby. And then I thought, okay, I'll try again. So I slept for a couple hours there and I thought, oh my heck, I need a nap. <laughs> and I'm excited because I have tomorrow off work with pay. So that's exciting. Got my um, garage done. Like I mentioned, there's a few things I still need to pick up and and organize but um you're just gonna lay here with me she likes to lay in my arms I wish you guys could see her but um now I got cat hair everywhere and then I have to work on my kitchen and stuff but um yeah other than that just life um so I will talk to you guys. I'm going to try and get this uploaded today, get that all done. Um, sorry, you got to tell everywhere. And um, I will talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I so appreciate all the nice comments. You guys are so sweet um, of how, sorry, I got cat hair. of how like people have missed me and wondered how I was and this and that and I just love it the shout outs um so sweet I just love it so thank you guys so much like and subscribe um oh, baby. <laughs> I think she wants me to go sit on the couch so she can cuddle with me but I will talk to you guys next time and um, we'll just talk to you then. Bye guys. <laughs>